It's officially winter. Winter is the season that always confuses me because the holiday season feels like it's winter, but technically it's fall or it's fall until December 21st. Anyway, today I'm going to be sharing some winter favorites with you, some items that I've been loving, some items I've been loving all year, really. And let me know what you're loving right now down in a comment below. Okay, my first favorite right now is wearable LED lights. As I've mentioned in many videos, I'm currently trying to stick to a goal of getting outside and moving every single day, which usually just means walking around my neighborhood for an hour. But now that it's getting dark so early, I knew that I would try to talk myself out of going and like sticking with it. I would say like, it's too dark or like, I'm gonna get hit by a car. So to make sure I had no excuses, I went on Amazon and I went a little nuts with the wearable lights. By far, my favorite item is this light up belt. You will be the most visible thing on the entire block when you're wearing this. It is so bright at night and I love that it's USB rechargeable. So it's super easy to just plug in once a week or every couple of weeks. I believe one charge is supposed to get you 20 hours of lit use. And I actually bought two of these. I also bought the blue one. They come in different colors. I got an extra one so that when my husband and I go out, we can each wear one. And these are amazing. We've gotten compliments from neighbors asking us where we got them. And then I've also been loving these little LED light clips, which are basically like a mini version of the belt. You can have them on like a solid color. You can have them flashing at different rates. They're so easy to clip on like a shirt or a jacket or a backpack. And they're super convenient. I think that these are a really nice thing to have in like an everyday bag. My next favorite is our Nespresso machine. And I was very resistant to it. Back in March, when we were still living in downtown Seattle, my husband ordered a Nespresso machine and I wanted nothing to do with it. I was very accustomed to my $5 coffee from the shop on the corner. And I had no interest in DIYing my lattes at home. But then we moved out of the city to what feels like a zoo, honestly. If you follow my Instagram stories, you know, we're out in the suburbs now. There's no longer a coffee shop on the corner. So I decided to give the Nespresso a try and I am obsessed. I love making my latte every morning. We also have the Arrochino, I think it's called, that frosts the milk. It's so easy, it tastes so good. And that is probably one of my most used items of all of 2020 for both of us actually. Like we have relied heavily on the Nespresso. It's the best. I think the one we have is the Virtuo line. I'm not sure of the exact model, but I'll I'll link it down below. Next, I wanna say thank you to Polaroid for sponsoring today's video and talk about the amazing Polaroid Lab Instant Printer. It acts like a desktop darkroom that turns your digital photographs into Polaroid pictures on real film. And it's so easy. You just go into the Polaroid app on your phone, find the photo that you want to print, adjust it how you want it, then put your phone face down on the printer, hit the red shutter button, it'll pop out your photo, and then you wanna flip it over for 10 to 15 minutes to allow it to develop without being exposed to too much light. I printed this photo of my husband and I on Christmas Eve a few years ago. We spent Christmas up at a ski resort. And to be honest, in the three years since this was taken, I haven't looked at this photo once. I completely forgot about it, which is such a shame because it's such a good memory. And now I have an actual physical memory. Like all of those photos that you just took on Christmas that are sitting on your phone. With this printer, you can print out your favorites, put them on the fridge, clip them up on some string somewhere. I think it's amazing. And I have a coupon code for you guys to get a discount on this. And I will have those details and a link down below. So be sure to check it out. Next, I have some clothing favorites to share with you, starting with the Lululemon Wonder Train leggings in the color Sage. These are definitely more of a 2020 favorite. You guys have seen me wear these in a lot of stuff this year. I've worn them in a lot of videos and photos on my Instagram. I have basically lived in them since I got them. What I like about the Wonder Train style is it has the waist drawstring. But honestly, my favorite thing about these is the color. This sage color is the perfect neutral green gray. I don't usually buy leggings in a color other than black because one, I don't often find it to be very flattering on me. And two, I find that colored leggings don't pair very easily with a lot of things in my wardrobe. But this color really is an exception. It goes with a lot of things. And honestly, now I just want everything that Lululemon makes in this color because it's become one of my favorite colors in my wardrobe ever. Next up is a pair of socks. These are 
are the Smart Wool Trek Heavy Socks. I'm a huge fan of Smart Wool products. I have a lot of their socks. I have some of their base layer items. And what I like about these is they're extra, extra thick and squishy, as you can probably see just by looking at them. It makes them really great for wearing with boots. It makes them extra comfortable, keeps things from rubbing on you. I also wear them around the house pretty much every day. It's the pair of socks that if they're clean, they're the ones that I'm reaching for in my closet. I own two pairs. This is one of them and the other pair is on my feet right now. My next favorite is a pair of winter boots. These are the Sorel Slim Pack 2 boots. I got mine a couple years ago now, two or three years ago, but I believe they always have this style. They might update the colors and things from time to time, but they seem to always carry these. And if you're looking for a great winter snow boot, these are amazing. The best thing about them is they're lightweight. I've owned a lot of snow boots that are heavy, they're clunky, they're exhausting to walk around in. And these are not those boots. These boots are so light, they're so comfortable. I can wear them for hours, I can walk miles, and they feel great. My next favorite is a jacket that I almost didn't wanna love as much as I do, but I am obsessed with this thing. It is the Arcteryx Cerium LT insulated jacket. It's the hoodie version, they do one without the hood as well. Let's just dive straight into the biggest con here. This jacket is incredibly expensive. Arcteryx products are always like $100 more than any other similar item in the store. And for years, I've always scoffed at the price. I've always been like, why are they charging so much more for the exact same item as all of these other brands? But a couple months ago, I saw this jacket and I cracked, I decided to buy it. And you guys, it is the best outdoor jacket I have ever owned in my life. For starters, this thing is so light. Light is a feather. It is the lightest down jacket I own. I own down jackets from Patagonia, Columbia. This jacket would blow away in the wind. It's so light, but it's also so warm. It is probably my warmest jacket of this type. And then also the fit. The fit. Okay, I wanna know if any of you ladies can relate to this. I'm usually a size 10, depending on the brand. I'm also an apple shape, which means that I carry my weight in my midsection, my arms, shoulders, and my face, which is so wonderful. And my legs and my hips are relatively smaller in comparison. I'm usually a smaller size on the bottom than I am on the top. I'm also five foot six, so I'm not incredibly tall. So the problem I run into, and this is what I'd love to know if any of you experience this as well, is oftentimes when I have to size up in a jacket size, the sleeves in the body become too long because oftentimes when a brand is increasing their sizes, they're increasing them with the idea that the body is growing in all directions. So it's like for taller people, but this jacket fits me so well. It's like it's been professionally tailored to my body. And the waist, oh my gosh, the waist. It nips in just a tiny, tiny little bit. I don't usually like when jackets really go in at the waist like an hourglass shape because I'm not an hourglass shape, so that just fits me weird. But this jacket, it's kind of hard to see when I'm sitting down, but I'll try to show you. Do you see right here at this seam how there's just like this little bit of a contour right there that just defines your waist a little bit. It's so flattering. The silhouette is amazing. I know that I'm going to wear this thing until it's a rag. Like it's one of those items that I love it so much. I wanna wear it all the time. And then I'm simultaneously afraid to wear it all the time because I don't wanna wear it out. So those are my winter favorites. I will have everything I talked about in this video listed and linked down in the info bar if you wanna check it out. Please let me know what you're loving right now down in a comment below. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you know when new videos are posted. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.